If you clicked on this video, then it probably means that you have same face syndrome. I think a lot of us artists have it, even some of the popular ones, and that's okay. It doesn't matter if you have it. It's not like it's illegal to have it in your art, and if that's how you like to draw, that's fine. But if you want to learn how to overcome same face syndrome, then this video is for you. Some of the things that I'll be talking about is common facial features, drawing from references from pictures, and focusing on the unique features that people have, and how I use these studies to stylize my own art. So beginning with eyes, most of these are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm using arrows to show what in the eye is different from the other. So the, the upturned one gives a fierce look, and here is a downturned, which to me gives a more uh, sad, sleepy look. Here's a hooded eye, with the hood being very deep and a shadow casting above the eye compared to other eyes, like this one, which is round and youthful. And here is a monolid eye, where uh, the hood isn't really visible on that line that's on the other ones. And here's an almond eye, uh, which is also self-explanatory, it looks like an almond. And onto the noses, here is a button nose, a hooked nose, where the bump is in the middle of the nose, an upturned nose where the nose points a little bit upward and then a downturned nose and a wide set nose. So onto lips, the first lips that I drew were full lips which are equal at the top and bottom. Then I drew round lips, I drew thin lips and princess peach don't ask and I drew wide and I drew a cupid's bow. I know that there's like a lot of other lips and you know eyes and face shapes but these are just like the basic ones. So for face shapes I got a round, square, oval, heart, rectangular, and diamond. So this is the first study that I'm going to work on and I'm going to try and figure out what features she has. So I see that she has a heart shaped face. I also see that she has a monolid eye. She has a wide nose and full lips. So my first study is going to be a realistic drawing and I want to do that first only so I can further analyze her face shape and her facial harmony so that when it comes down to stylizing I don't take that away and I can still make stylized drawings look like the reference. So with this sketch, I'm going to focus heavily on her features so I can kind of like burn it in my head for when I stylize it and I can really implement it in my stylized drawing. That way I don't take away from her features, I really want her to look like her, but just obviously in a different style. And I think I did a pretty good job in this one. Um, I'm not really used to drawing like monolid eyes, I think I got used to drawing just like um, the line on top of the eye and shading and all that and I think that's what happens when you end up developing same face syndrome is you get kind of comfortable with what you draw and because you liked how one drawing came out you're kind of like oh my gosh like this one is so pretty I want it to look like that on every drawing and then you end up just drawing the same face and a lot of the times it's not even on purpose and I see that with a lot of artists, even my favorite artists, and although all the drawings look super great, you can see that similarity in each character. It's like every character is wearing a wig and different outfit, <laughs> but I think it is important to, to learn other features 
Okay, so here I am going to begin stylizing it and I'm still gonna uh, be heavy on those features. Um, but when I draw, I like to draw super big eyes, um, maybe like kind of like more rounder face. And as you can see, I'm still trying to keep like the same initial shape of like the white nose and the full lips. But I think like the main difference is like the eyebrows and huge eyes. But for the most part, I just want it to look like her, but just exaggerated. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit so we can get to the finished sketch and then you can see my rendering process for this study. Okay, so this is how it came out. Now I'm just gonna soften everything up and start with the coloring. I think it came out pretty good. I think it still looks like her, obviously just giant eyes. And I think I'm gonna do like similar uh, rendering styles for both sides just to make it a little bit easier. Um, I'm not like crazy about drawing realistic characters, even though I can do it. I just don't enjoy it. I used to like drawing uh, realistic characters before until I decided that I wanted to find a different style that I had more fun with. I did have a couple of people say that they liked my realistic art better, but I mean, even though I can do it, I don't have fun. So I don't know. I think it's just boring for me to draw realistic type of art, even if it may look prettier to some other people. Um, I don't know, that's kind of random, but I did want to add that in case anyone wants to comment. I like the other one better, or you should draw realistic drawings more. I don't, I just don't want to. But yeah, anyways, I sped up the rendering process so you don't have to sit here watching me draw for like three or four hours straight. I'm actually so happy with how this one came out. I think that it still looks like her just in my own style and I didn't take away from any of her natural, unique features, including her uh, freckles. And I usually don't draw freckles, but I really enjoyed doing that. So yeah, this is it for the first study. So on to the next study, I am going to figure out what face shape she has again. And to me, I think she has more like a purple shaped face. She has a wide set nose and full lips with a bit of a cupid's bow and to me it looks like she has almond shaped eyes. So I am gonna speed through the uh, sketching process again but uh, this study was really fun to do because of like the lighting and the the skin tone with like the sun hitting it and everything and don't be afraid to draw darker skin tones you guys i don't see a lot of people being very diverse in their art and i think that you should open up to drawing different skin tones um, i know that it can be challenging but it really is worth it So this is how the sketches came out and now it's on to the rendering process. Um, the lighting was such a challenge. I don't know if it was just the color. I, I was afraid that it was coming out like really like yellow orange, but I 
think once you like trust the process and just go with the flow, uh, it'll come out the way you like it. I really love how they came out. She still came out like she was sun-kissed and I really wanted to implement that in both of the styles. I also ended up adding some blue to her hair just to kind of add a pop of like color against the the orangey yellow hues on her skin and then I did make her cheeks a little bit more pink just for just to make it more like glossy and cute and, and yummy looking and that's my favorite part my favorite part in all of these drawings all of my drawings is probably the highlight I think that's just like it gives it like that finishing touch so for my next study, I'm seeing that she has, to me, I don't know if it's the angle, but it looks like a square shape on her face. And then it looks like she has an upturned nose with thin lips and again, almond eyes. I notice a lot of people have this same face shape. I think I need to work on some references that have like the upturned and um, the downturned eyes as well so I don't know why I was having like the hardest time drawing this realistic version of this reference I like how the stylized one came out but I'm not crazy about how the realistic version of this reference came out but I rolled with it anyway I'm really trying to learn not to be like picky with all of my drawings and just throw away everything that I don't like So usually when I draw my art, my stylized art, I like drawing like this super big princess peach type of lips in like every drawing. So drawing like thinner lips is like hard for me because like in my head I'm like no, bigger, juicier. And I mean I'm glad that you know I obviously still kept it as like the shape it's supposed to be because it really does make a difference to making your art look more different from each other. And I mean, like I said in the beginning, there is nothing wrong with uh, your, your drawings looking the same, but I think to some people, like, like if you really, really want to create like just art to make people happy, then most of them are gonna notice and they're gonna tell you something like I think the reason that I did do this video is because of a short that I posted and someone was like oh like it's a shame that you have same face syndrome like I noticed you have same face syndrome and I'm like dang it they noticed I've been exposed but honestly it gave me the push that I needed to kind of like just step out of my comfort zone and draw different things for once and I mean it's a good thing though because I think if I do keep drawing the same thing over and over again I'm gonna end up burnt out and bored of my own art and I don't want to quit or anything so this is for the people who said I have the same face syndrome here you go okay but no I'm just kidding thank you if anything I think that it'll open me up to trying different things and making my art a lot more visually pleasing and I mean look at that like her face looks different from a lot of the other drawings I've done like yeah like the eyes are a bit similar but keeping the thin lips and upturned nose and I think that it's really improving my art skills overall. So, I mean, if you have the same face syndrome and it is something that you wanna change about yourself, then literally just pick out a couple of different references on like Pinterest or something of completely different looking people and just do what I did and really pay attention to their features. 
so yeah that was it for this one i really do like how she came out she came out really cute i don't like the realistic one still ignore that and yeah so this is the next study that i decided to do uh she has a diamond face that's why i chose her because she looks very like she has very strong features she has the downturned nose full lips um she also has different eyes this time she has hooded eyes so i knew that this one was going to be a challenge for me to really implement her really heavily unique base features out of all of the studies that i did this one was my favorite because it was the most challenging like even the skin tone was different from ones that I've done before because it had a lot of like purple undertones and I'm used to drawing like blue undertones and also just like the look in her face was a little bit hard to achieve because she looks I don't know it kind of looks like she's staring into your soul so this is how the sketch came out I think I did a good job implementing that stare that she's giving and now it's on to rendering both drawings I'm not gonna lie I went a little too detailed with the realistic version of this sketch just because I was enjoying it so much I spent like probably eight hours just on this one which I was really trying not to for like each study and I think that's why it took so long with this video but I mean look how good it came out even just like the undertones like the purple undertones on her skin and her highlights like I know I mentioned earlier that I don't really enjoy drawing realistic portraits but this one I had a blast with but I also do like how the stylized version came out. I think I was still able to capture the same um, vibe that the other one had. And again, with this stylized one, I think the hardest part definitely was the skin color. I don't think I've done this specific this specific skin color before i really like how it has like just brown and purple and just the color that she's wearing mixed with like the green in her eyes was just so satisfying to draw so i am almost at the end of my entire study i hope that i was able to inspire some of you to step out of your comfort zone and try to cure your same face syndrome like i'm trying to do and so i wanted to mention that i made a discord for my subscribers and my followers um i did want to feature some of your guys's drawings in my future videos where i redraw your ocs in my style and I also wanted to make videos where I, I guess, revamp your art. I didn't want to call it fixing your art because I feel like that sounds mean. Um, but yeah, feel free to join if you want, if you want me to draw your art. And don't forget to follow me on my TikTok and Instagram as well. So yeah, please let me know which study was your favorite and if you think that I should make another video with different references. Okay, bye!